Alright guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll be reviewing one of the cases for my lovely Barnes & Noble's Nook. Um, I actually have a couple of videos planned out, so if you're not really interested, I apologize ahead of time. I'll probably be making a video on this, another case, and some other things with the Nook. So if I'm, if I'm going a little bit Nook crazy, just tell me ahead of time. But I'm actually really excited to talk about it. Um, this is my first video I'm filming actually about the device, so I'm just very excited for this thing. It's a great device. I'll talk about it later, maybe in the review or something else. But my first video, I want to do probably the easiest video for me to talk about, and which is a, just a case review. Um, very rarely I've done case reviews, I think, on my channel. I think I haven't really done any at all. But um, it's, I guess it's, it's a little bit different, too, when it comes to a different device. iPhone case, either you want rubber case, plastic case, uh, stuff out of your pocket, or a silicone case for protection, but there's an issue with getting lint and stuff, and it won't get in your pocket. The weird thing about the Nook is, it doesn't fit in your pocket. So how does a case really work with the Nook? Uh, when I first purchased it, I wanted to you know, buy something that was pretty inexpensive, uh, protected from when I was taking it on the go, and, um, you know, overall just a nice case, because, you know, I've been spoiled with the iPhone, I've been buying a whole bunch of cases with those, and I'm still looking for a good case for that, too. So it's pretty hard switching to a different device. Now, Barnes & Noble's on their website when I first bought it a couple of weeks ago. They only had uh, designer cases, like Kate Spade, and like these very artsy-fartsy cases, and they're really nice, too. But honestly, I don't want to spend $70 on one of those cases where I'm probably, in the end, will get sick of it and want to switch to another one. Um, the other cases they have are a silicone case, similar to this one, a uh, leather frame case that did not come out yet, and um, some other things. What's also really cool about the Nook also is the back covers you can actually change on their own. And I was considering doing that, but they didn't release it yet. Uh, Barnes & Noble has been really limited on stock on Nooks recently until a couple of weeks ago. And their cases and accessories have pretty much non-existent at their uh, local stores. So even finding any case at a store to buy um, has been pretty difficult. So, enough talking about the background. I purchased this case from Overstock.com for, uh, I believe, $9.99 plus uh, $2.95 shipping. Uh, Overstock is a website similar to Amazon or Buy.com where they sell a whole bunch of stuff ranging from electronics, accessories, I think clothes, shoes, and even furniture. And what they have a special program where you can buy almost anything and get it shipped to your house, uh, I think in two days shipping, for like 2 or $3. So I got this Nook case uh, pretty quickly for my Nook, and I've been very impressed. The reason why I chose this case over the Barnes & Noble's uh, alternatives is honestly price. This was actually ex exactly half price of Nook cases. Uh, I, think, I would assume they're pretty much the same. I have not dealt with the Barnes & Noble's case. But um, how different can silicone get, honestly? Uh, the only real difference between these cases and the Barnes & Noble's one is the Barnes & Noble's have a more pastel color. I think to be a little bit more artistic, to be a little more bland. But I really like this blue. You can also buy it in like a fluorescent uh, yellow and a, and a really nice green. Um, if they had red, I would have bought it, because uh, red is my favorite color, so I got it in the, this case. But this blue is a very beautiful navy blue, I think. It's very um, it's very calming, but yes, it, it's still good attention. If you're sitting on the bus, sitting on the subway, reading it, people are going to uh, wonder what device it is. Overall case itself um, is definitely worth the $10 I've spent. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, for a silicone case, it does everything I expected it to be, and a little bit more. What I mean by that is the buttons themselves and the little details, whatever, whoever manufactured this case, put into, um, into this case. Uh, for like a non-brand name case, I'm very impressed. Overall, it fits perfectly. You guys can see that there's a little bit of white still shining through, but the rim right around it is really nicely cut. I was afraid that it's going to be cheaply cut, like just thin silicone, bad quality. But it's this really nice like curved bezel that wraps around. So it kind of like leaves this nice bezel around your own nook screen where it won't scratch. And it's almost like a little picture frame. I, I, it's very reminiscent of a picture frame. I was also quite concerned that whoever the manufacturer uh, was of this case would not realize that there's a touch button in the middle of the nook. Which requires you to actually have, you know, uh, the conductivity, uh, the electricity out of your finger to uh, touch the button. But they left it open, obviously, to make sure you, know, you can do it. You still have access to your e-ink screen and your touch screen, and um, it's been pretty easy. I really like how the buttons are a little bit, uh, I guess, sticking out. So it makes it a lot easier to turn the pages, too. Um, on the Nook itself, if you use it without a case, there's only these little tiny, very small dots. Kind of, They look like Braille dots, like if, if you were uh, blind and reading Braille. They're very small, but with the case on, there's these nice big buttons, and it makes it a lot easier to push. Also on the top, they also uh, left a little button here for the power button, and they actually put a little symbol on it, too. It's just these small touches make me really uh, appreciate whoever made the case. I'm really impressed. For $10, you don't get any better than this. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this case and the Barnes & Noble's ones are exactly the same. Silicone uh, is silicone, and like they, they can differ, but how much can they differ? It's a great case, and I honestly think that you should just save the money and get this one instead. Uh, also on the bottom, they made a really great cutout too, a very nice curved cutout uh, for the speakers, the headphone, and the micro USB port so you have easy access. So honestly, this could be your everyday Nook case. You would never need to take it off because you can charge through here and um, use it every day. The only real time you really need to take it off is either replace the battery, if you ever need to replace the battery, or change your back cover. So let me take it off, guys, and show it to you. Do it itself. Yeah, the only real thing I've had was the difficulty of taking it off. It's so secure in the nook that it's been pretty difficult. But inside, you just get the same silicone. There's no, obviously, no sharp edges or anything. The only real thing I hate about silicone cases is, you know, it's really prone to collecting dust. And um, I have a chihuahua, and he sheds a lot, and sometimes it just gets covered in hair. What I do is I take some uh, what's it, Cyber Clean or um, a microfiber and wipe it off, and it's all good. Another way of preventing silicone, especially for the Nook, is just buying a secondary uh, pouch case, I guess you can call it, and just keeping it in there. So the only time the Nook is out of the case is when it's in your hands, so you can prevent the dust. Now, the Nook case does actually, the silicone case itself, does add a little bit more heft into the Nook, but um, it's actually not really bad because you're not putting this in your pocket. Um, if you're a girl, you can just put it in your purse, and it's not much of an issue. It doesn't add too much weight, and if you're a guy, you should just deal with it. Um, it actually helps you hold the Nook because right now the Nook by itself is very thin and that's usually really great for a device, but sometimes it's quite awkward to hold. I actually have to curve my fingers up a little bit more just to hold on to it. But if you add the Nook case on, I'll put it back on now. There we go. When you add it on, it makes it a little bit grippier, so it kind of feels more like you're holding a paperback book. It has the same weight and it has that same thickness too. It's not much of a... Um, it's not much of a con, it's actually more of a pro when you think about it. So, um, also, anything else I want to mention? Overall, great case. Uh, definitely should buy it. The link will be in the sidebar for anyone who does own a Nook. Um, it's definitely a great buy. What else should I say? And it comes with great colors. So save yourself that extra money. If, you're, if you just need a case and you really don't care about brand name or the other goodies that come in the box, you should just always search around for a secondary manufacturer, maybe something even from eBay. It's um, usually it'll save you some cash, and you, know, you probably won't mind. Especially for this case, um, it's actually a bonus. It comes in really nicer colors than the real brand name itself. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.